Hi, I'm Cheryl with the Carter Museum, and today on Cooped Up with the Carter in the Kitchen, we're going to be making an apple slump cake and looking at Elliot Porter's apple tree from 1984. Now, as we look at this photograph, you'll see, you guessed it, an apple tree. You'll notice the red and yellow tones in the apples amongst the luscious green leaves. An interesting fact is that in 1990, Elliot Porter bequeathed his professional archives to the Carter Museum. This generous donation included thousands of original dye transfers, color photographic prints, gelatin silver prints, color transparencies and slides, black and white negatives. The collection also holds copies of artist books, portfolios, and albums, business papers and correspondence, his professional library, family photographs, some of his dye transfer equipment, and his work table, which was on view during Mark Dion's The Perilous Texas Adventures of Mark Dion. Now, let's bake a cake. So to get started with our apple slump cake, you're gonna take five apples, I used gala apples, and you're gonna peel, core, and cut them into a quarter inch thick slices. Then you're gonna take half a cup of packed brown sugar and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and cinnamon. So you're gonna dump your apples into a buttered dish. And then you're gonna take your sugar, cinnamon, and salt and you're just gonna stir it all together in your dish. And you just wanna coat all the apples pretty evenly. Sometimes I find it easier just to use my hands. Just be sure to wash them first. So once you've got your apples nice and coated, you're gonna put this in a preheated oven of 350 degrees for about 20 minutes or until the apples are tender. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven and check back. So while your apples are in the oven, you're gonna combine one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a cup of sugar, and half a teaspoon of salt. And then you're gonna melt one stick of butter and let it cool. Beat one egg and get half a cup of milk. So you're gonna combine all of your dry ingredients in one bowl and you're gonna combine your wet ingredients in another. So you'll just whisk these up and then you'll add your wet ingredients to your dry ingredients. And then you'll combine this just until it's barely mixed together. So it sounds like our apples are ready. And you want them to be soft and tender, but not too soft. And you're just gonna spread it out right over the top. And it's okay if it doesn't cover your apples completely. Um, you just kinda wanna get it as even as possible. It is an apple slump cake after all. So then you'll put it back in the oven for about another 25 minutes or until the top is golden. All right, now we wait. All right, it sounds like our apple cake is ready. So let's take a look. Oh yeah, that looks really good. So you just wanna bake it until it's golden brown, just like that, and you can test it with a toothpick um, to make sure the cake part is done, but I'm willing to bet that that's ready. Well, thanks so much for joining us today on Cooped Up with the Carter, and we'll see you next time.